Hi guys, good afternoon. It's Cory here again. Um, it's a rainy Sunday afternoon, but as usual, you know I go around Dominica promoting the beautiful place on our nature island. And this afternoon, I'm at Bourne at Paradise Garden. Um, Paradise Valley, sorry. I am here with one of the tour guides, Miss Karen. I'm gonna let her introduce the place to you and tell you a little bit more about Paradise Valley. All right, hello and welcome to Paradise Valley. Um, this 60-acre plot is owned and operated by Mr. Diane Peter Douglas, a horticulturist. What we do is a daily tour of the different um, plant speci specimens that we carry and we do school tours, family picnics, weddings, socials, pretty much on a daily basis. So again, like I said, welcome and as we take you on an extensive tour of the entire um, five acres or seven acres that we occupy at this point. So come on Dominica and for those of you in the diaspora, those of you that follow me, as usual I always give you something spectacular and as I said, yeah the rain is a little bit um, on and off, on and off, so never mind if you see us walking with our umbrellas, but um, we're going to give you a tour of the place and we have Miss Karen, three puppies accompanying us also, <laughs> which is nice. Right. I personally am looking to purchase some exotic plants, plants that you're going to find nowhere else in Dominica. I don't know the names, but I guess Miss Karen will help me out in choosing. And different palms. Exotic palms. Um, here we have a um, very unique what is it a water fountain as you can see what is it a man mermaid <laughs> it looks like a man mermaid but it's um do we have fishes in there not quite yet okay it's a piece in the making uh, mr douglas is more versed on the acquisition of that piece but again uh, based on his 30 years of horticulture in the U.S., he was able to incorporate these types of things into the garden scene to try and elevate, you know. And this is why we are called the Nature Isle. You just come on down to Paradise Valley and you're going to see it all here. Just look at this. We also a lot of our historical pieces throughout because we try to salvage or sort of preserve a little piece of our history. Right, because a lot of these things are just um, abandoned throughout all the states, but we incorporate them in the garden to create beauty as well. So what is this called again? That's a uh, iron port. So this is an iron port. This is like this one you saw. You have the kettle. And that's just an iron port. You use them to make the, the sugar cane. Um, the cassava, the farine, all that stuff. And this one over there was used for the bay oil and the bay rum. Right, so there you go. You're getting not just exotic plants, but you're also getting a piece of um, history, a piece of our culture. That one is called the Bohemian Galpini or Pride of the Cape. It's similar to a cock and pullet. Okay. Oh, we have a plant that is a cock and pullet. <laughs> Ah, we have a nice canna lily right there, the red one. The red one. Beautiful. Nice. Lovely. Remember, you have to choose the one for my office. So these majority of plants you see here are for landscaping, outdoors landscaping. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have the African mastery or the Langsifolio, Longfolio. Then we have the traveler's palms. We have the... Buakari, which and is our I see, national flower. I see you. This is our national flower. Yes. The Buak. Ah, so you see, people, Dominica's national flower. And don't. I'm not gonna miss this. We call it fat pork. <laughs> One of my favorites. <laughs> yes. Yes. Back of it up there, you have a variegated fishtail palm, which is a good one for the kinders as well because they get to remember the fishtail palm. And 
if you look at the close, if you look closely at the edges of the leaf, yeah, it looks like the fins of a fish. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. Family. Ah, and there's some variegated mako bush. We call it mako bush. <laughs> I am having so much fun. If you have the variegated, it's a it's a mako bush for short, but it's part of the Macafina family. Yeah. I see it quite um a lot of places along the road in Dominica, like you know how they're doing the beautification on the roadside. Yeah, I love it. It's pretty. It's pretty nice. I love it. But there is there is also a proper way to do those things, and Mr. Douglas knows a lot more than than is being utilized at this point. So right now, it is key that that, that the government should help him utilize his skills to help the entire country, because some of the plants that they are planting, they may not know exactly what it is for futuristic purposes. They may plant it because it looks beautiful, but in the end, ten years down the line, what does it do for you? You may have to cut it down. You may have to trim too often because it's not suited for, for the places that you're We have a, tri a triangle farm in the kindergartens. Triangle Yes, so we tell them what, what, what um, shape has three sides and then they go discover that the triangle farm has three sides. We have Brazilian soap. Yeah. You see the colors of the flower? Yeah. That's like a nice lipstick color. Mm. <laughs> and then you miss the red lipstick palm. I did it. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have the red lipstick and the orange one is the Ernestillo Gastillo. Uh, in the midst there I can see a um, uh, palm city tree right there to your left. Yes, we have yeah. palm city. See yeah. the young plants are on it. We have yeah. palm city, guava cherry, Suriname cherry, um, sorbet berry. And then we have a dwarf breadfruit tree that was donated to the island by the Marcus Garvey Foundation. You will see some young breadfruits coming up on it. If you look to your right, you will see a haliconia called sexy pink. Yes. This one. Yes. So we have the sexy pink and further down you will see the sexy orange. The sexy pinks look sexy. Yes, it does. <laughs> and then we have the queen skirt moseander. Most people have the peach or the orange one. Yes, that is very common, yeah. but yeah. this one is a little bit rare. Beautiful, yeah. nice flowers. Very beautiful. And behind, um, part of the Musa family, the, the banana family, the, the proper name is the Musa. So you have the Musa or Nata purple, you see it yeah, here? You can see it. And you have the orange, and then further down, you will see the Cosinia, which is a bright red flower as opposed to a banana. But that one is an upright banana. But it is grown mostly for the flower. For the flower. Yeah. Yes. This is also this is an alkalifer dwarf kang kang. If you notice how curly, mm -hmm. you know back like the fabric right. we call it kang yeah. So that's the alkalifer dwarf kang kang. Nice. Ha! Huh. Another thing that I like. I'm seeing all the things that I like. C A N E. <laughs> That's a wild one. Uh, I also see pineapple. say Miss Karen it's very nice to see a breadfruit tree that is so short yeah <laughs> you can literally just walk on the breadfruit tree and peek nice the Marcus they have a waterfall too the Marcus Garvey Foundation Big up to the Magus Gavi Foundation. Jamaica, to my Jamaican party in Toronto. See, a little bit of you here in Dominica. Equal 
Right, this is. So you have one here and another one on the other side. Here. And if I remember correctly, Karen, is this um, Tabak Zobi? Yes, it is. Yes. A little bit of the country is still in me. Tabak yeah. Zobi. <laughs> See? Over here we have our sauce that ah. we have turned into a nice um, tilapia pond. So those are beautiful features. So you have features in there? Yes, if you look, you will oh, see yeah, one yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, I did. Look here. Yes, look. Yeah. Nice. Tilapias. Yes, but I see Whoa, my one, I see my one. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot. Pretty, pretty fishes. Yes, and they're big. Oh, yes. Beautiful specimens. So the other side, after Maria, we also developed another zoos. We also... Um, located another section of the source that we put some koi in. Mm. So we koi have is one a type of fish? Yes, okay. it's, it's uh, the, the Japanese um, ornamental. They use them in a lot of water features. So we have some on that side of the fish. This is pretty. Stroman tricolor. It's a ground color. Another um, piece of our, yeah, that's a kappa. I can't tell you the name in English, I can only tell you it's in Creole. Uh, what is it? A copper pot. The English name is a copper pot, but in Creole, we call it a kappa. And here we have a, um, a cano. Yeah, a dog out cano. Beautiful purple. Can you see that, baby? Yeah, Look. Tea, tea. Tea, tea. Yeah. And over here, this is part of the Alpinia Poporeta plant. The light pink. Right. That's called an ice cream ginger. So you have the normal ginger lily, like the pink and the red and the white. That's the ice cream version that Mr. Douglas brought down. And behind it is the beefsteak haliconia and the sexy orange is somewhat behind there as well. Boy, these plants, I'm telling you, there's a reason why they call them exotic plants. Because they have some sexy names. And like, they're all in paradise. And they're all in paradise. Paradise Valley, Dong at Bourne. You need to check it out. You have to. I would assume. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Right, Miriamsa. And we have Alocasia and Colocasia, which is referred to the Tanya and the Dashin family. So you have the Mojito Esquelenta, which is a spotted purple leaf right here, the Black Mystic, and the Smoky. And this one here, June Rose or um, Crepe Myrtle, that's the Dynamite Red. If you look behind, you will see the flower just started coming in. You may find it other places on the land, but that's How do you remember I'm all the names? Cousin so-and-so from your father's side, your mother's side, is like family. You remember them all. <laughs> because they're all a family. Right. right. <laughs> And daily tours, you know, you do this yeah, every day. Yeah, so repetition. Can you, can you spot me sexy orange to yes. the back of the regular breadfruit tree? Nice. Yes. Yeah. You see it? 
All the way back at the back of the breadfruit tree. Between, yeah. Bright orange haliconia hanging down. Sexy orange. Yeah. this family to the red button ginger, yeah, the cream Right. Yeah. yeah, that was a cousin from long, long, long yes. time. Yes. So just can't remember your name. That one I will definitely give credit to our good friend Miss Anne John Baptist from Papillon. She gifted us that one. So I definitely have to credit her for that one. Yes. The red Yes. This is amazing. This is just Yeah, and not just the exercise. I think this is very um for me, very relaxing, like walking through nature and discovering all the different plants and, you know, fruits. Fern, yeah. And, and, and again, uh, Miss Karen does flowers arrangement, arrangement too, so... Yep. Yep. Whether you want it for your office, for your home, whatever it is, you can contact them. I tell you Dominica is the place to be I keep telling you guys that just follow Corey and you will always find something unique to discover in Dominica whoever thought Round leaf nice okay and somebody like me that loves nature this is just the place to be and might I just add, it's my husband's birthday today, so I just want to shout out happy birthday to my, uh, to my, uh, to my golden touch ginger. <laughs> yes, it does look like an ice cream scoop, it does. Nice. Here we have our little um, resident hut. Some of our workers stay here with us. They go up occasionally back to the reserve, but we welcome them. You know, they work at ease and part of the family. Ah, our Morocois are outside getting some sun. Yes, we have land turtles. I think one went for a walk. Guys, look at that. So will will it come back? Yes. The last come. time it went for a walk, it's after a whole year. It came home on Father's Day, <laughs> <laughs> and we had already got kidding? one to replace it because we thought it had lost. But then and on Father's Day, year. it came home to really. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, back in the days. <laughs> I would have roast a breadfruit right there. <laughs> oh, guys, look at the peacocks. Wow. Why is it googling? 12? Okay, the blue necks are the males. Oh, okay. I thought they would sleep like indoors, no? They'll stay outdoors? Okay. And what, what would make them feel threatened? Like if people um, the animals, come, the like animals? The, the, puppies are not, the puppies were born here. So eventually they, they, they have a, a tendency to hunt. The mother knows not to hunt them. But then, you know, with their nature, they tend to chase after them. So they would either, you know, defend themselves yeah. or Naturally. sleep on top of the trees. Yeah. Naturally. Right. So that cage you saw was um, last month. We had some young ones that came in. Um, so we keep them in a cage because the the malfini fly around above looking for prey. Right. So we keep them in the cage until they are big enough to let loose. So right now we have none in the cage because I think we gifted a pair to someone that was promised. Yes. Look, 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 look. You have two fem you have a young male, two young males at the back showing off. Ah, uh, and here's the alpha male decide. You guys think you wanna show off on me? Guess what? I got the pretty feathers. Yes, 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 yes. So when the young men are showing off for the ladies, they call that peacocky. So you see, he's doing his dance. It's like, I'm prettier than you. Look at me. <laughs> oh, yes. They have that shimmy shimmy and a vibrating kind of thing. And they show off. Look the other one on top there. And by now, they should be dropping all their feathers and growing new ones for next mating season. So you're lucky to see so many feathers still. Beg for them to open, and right, and they do it mostly as a defense mechanism or mating ritual. But now it's like for some reason they know that they're being watched, <laughs> so it's, it's show off time. Exactly. Yeah. So you have the two in the back, that big one in the front. <laughs> Thank you. Good boy. And look at look at that. Look at the symmetry. You have the two wider ones in the either edge and the top, tall one in the center. Normally you have a perfect circle, but the way the feathers are falling off, you still have that symmetry. Oh yes. When we have weddings, they come up, so then we just feed them, socialize around everyone. Sometimes there's work going on at the house at the cottage and they come and they stick these royal palms. A lot of exoras. The rain is coming down now. A lot of crotons and agaves. Agaves, that's the sugar agave? Agave, agave plants, yes. Certain types of agave they use in Mexico to make the tequila. Okay. Yeah, I'm not certain we have that kind here, but those are just ornamentals. I've never seen so many plants, not even in Toronto. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. They have the honeycomb, this one here. Knockout rose. We brought that one down. The pseudo bombas or the pink powder puff. That's a knockout rose.
Christ showing. So these are all um, young plants. Guys, look at this. I know some of you, especially those of you in the diaspora. I would call names, you know, but I'm not going to call nobody name. <laughs> I know you want one of these. There's my friend in New York. You know yourself. Your name starts with L and ends with N. <laughs> I know you want one of these right now. <laughs> wow. Look at this one, baby. You got this one? Miss Karen, I have to say I am very pleased that I came here today. Although the rain was a little bit um, annoying. But, but it's not annoying for us because it saves us. The and it's good for you because exactly. you're getting the natural water. Yeah. I am very. Yes. Not that, then we have to haul hoses, exactly. which is still our natural exactly. water. But uh, it, it gives us a little break today, Sunday. Yeah. Red and more. See the love heart? Red and more. Red and more too well, You see, quite fitting for that music video. Yes, yes. You picked yes. a red and more flower. And her blush was just fitting. Fitting for it? Spell, so to speak. So we are thankful for the Simply Getting a plant for my office. So. Enjoying the week. 
more, the more flowers you cut, is the more production increases. Oh really? It's like it, it loves it. It loves to give you, yeah. you know, yeah. its fruits. Yeah. So you keep cutting, and you keep sending you flowers. Keep sending This is the regular one. Thank you. 